over 2,000 years old, invented in China, known simply as the mystery of the Chinese linking rings. Now, this classic illusion of magic is often performed with as many as 27 rings. Some magicians do it with eight rings. Some magicians do it with only two rings. But tonight, I will be performing this illusion for you with six rings. An illusion over 2,000 years old. Using one, two, three, four, five, six solid, separate gold rings. I, I had them chrome-plated to keep the gold from wearing away. By the way, these jokes are over 2,000 years old, just so you know. Now, uh, you sir, what is your name? Alfred. I want you to take a ring, and I want you to examine it. And I want you to make sure that there are no trap doors, no holes or openings in the ring. Check it out, look it over nice and solid. Do you see any holes in the ring? No? Other than this big one in the middle. Good. Good. Well, that one has to be there, or else it would be the mystery of the Chinese linking hubcaps. And that isn't so good. Now, we're going to give this a shot and try to perform this for you. However, in, fact, in order to class it up, every magician has their own take on things. So I thought I would perform this, since we're here on the royal princess, I thought I would perform it to poetry. With my apologies to Edgar Allan Poe. <clears throat> May I have the special poetry lighting, please? That's great. <laughs> this mystic feat I now perform with solid steel in rounded form, a quaint and curious mystery from an oriental shore. Each ring separate, disconnected, doing things so unexpected suddenly intersected, different than before. Just these two rings and nothing more. And when it comes that I perchance to look upon this happenstance, how rings can link when separate before. I wonder that in my confusion, t'was perhaps just an illusion Could it then be my delusion? I'll admit, I'm never sure. Perhaps imagination, nothing more. And now I hear a gentle tapping, or maybe even a steely rapping. Kanye, is that you? <laughs> or perhaps nothing, a whisper like a wave upon the shore. Once again, the rings are intertwined, a deep, dark mystery for the mind, but just as suddenly we find, they melt apart like rings of smoke. Separate once more. And now we take a ring so plain, add to it one again, All right, that sort of rhymes. <laughs> Two rings, simple, charming, elegant, and more. And to these, we add a third. And without another word, they take flight, much like a bird. <laughs> Linking midair galore, which has never been done before. And now, for those of you with dispositions, who lend themselves to great suspicions, these rings will assemble in much the same grand manner as before. Would you help me for a moment? Just stand up right where you are. I want you to hold the ring at about five o'clock and seven o'clock, right there at the bottom. Hold it nice and tight and watch right here. That appears to be perfectly solid, yes? Hold it just like that. This is the closest anyone will ever get to the mystery of the Chinese licking wings. One, 
two, three. Thank you. Thank you. And now this part's a bit contingent, and for those whose gaze is stringent, may notice copyright infringement. <laughs> Disney's lawyer's pretty sure. <laughs> but now the rings start to reverse. As if under ancient curse, the rings themselves start to disperse. Till all is as it was before, except for this, chain of four. A chain so lovely to behold, another mystery to unfold as this one rises through its brothers, two, three, and four. Then on again and down it tells, until at last they passed, it lies bottommost once more. And now the rings, they interlink to form a square, the end, I think, but curiouser and curiouser with just one twist no more. <laughs> Suddenly it interfaces, linked in 16 different places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 different places. But just as quickly it erases, two on two, and then again, the chain of four. But now the rings, they come alive, for as we add ring number five, a tassel and a tassel, and it's different than before. Ba, 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 ba. But no Winter Olympics fans? Fair enough. The luge is not very popular. So, before we end this brief vacation, ring number six, a new sensation, and it's longer than ever before. But now the rings start to collect, to challenge once again my intellect. For five on one is not the same as we have had before. And now before I leave, I have one task. That is to cleave these rings from one another. Ring number one begins the score. Followed through by ring number two. Ring number three follows one and two. We're halfway there, just three to do. Ring number four. Ring number four. <laughs> well, perhaps later. <laughs> or never more. A mystery throughout the ages to baffle scientists and sages, for as the last one disengages, all is as it was before. Thus, we end our tale of solid rings, silver rings, forever free, forever born. And if, Rick, you would like to examine any and all of these rings, that's absolutely out of the question. <laughs>